Welcome back to another Steam Deck video guys, I'm Blaze2K and we're talking about battery life and the heat output on the Steam Deck. Now, as you know, when you're playing intensive games on this thing, it does get a little bit toasty. Um, I'd love to know what your experience is on the, um, in the comments down below. Does your Steam Deck get very hot when you're playing it? Um, and also the battery life, how's your battery life been? Let me know down below as well. Um, well, as you know, IGN sat down with Valve employees, um, Steam Deck UX designer um, Lawrence Yang and business development executive Eric Peterson at the Tokyo Game Show and they answered a couple of questions about specifically the heat on the Steam Deck and the battery life and what steps they've taken to improve it. Now before we get into it please like, subscribe and click the bell icon down below if you want to see more Steam Deck content because I will be posting some really interesting videos in the next couple of days and weeks on the Steam Deck and you'll probably want to see them including my Windows and SteamOS dual boot installation guide where you can install Windows onto a micro SD without having to worry about messing up the internal SSD. You're going to want to watch that. Click on the bell icon to be notified when that comes out. Anyways guys let's get into it. So IGN asked them, of course, battery life, another hot topic with the Steam Deck. You've taken some steps to improve it. There have been a lot of hacks and discussions about what you can do on that front, but there are there additional steps that you developers can take to continue to enhance the battery life of the Steam Deck? Now you can, of course, just slap a big battery pack on the back of it. I've seen some people 3D print little clips where they can clip on like a proper 24,000 milliamp battery to the back of this thing. And it, it probably weighs a ton with that. <laughs> but that's probably not what everyone wants to do, right? So um, Lawrence Shanks says, we're always looking for ways that we can make battery life better from a software perspective. Part of that is providing controls for customers to be able to lower the settings. I think it's just the way things are. AAA games, a AAA game like Elden Ring, I don't think that the designers were thinking that it would ever be played handheld. And it's kind of amazing that it can even be played handheld. That's something I've played on the Steam Deck. It runs pretty well, actually. Um, it's something that we're still looking at. We're providing tools for customers and we're going to keep looking at both future software and hardware revisions as well. So they are talking about hardware revisions for the Steam Deck now. Potentially a newer, more efficient Steam Deck with potentially a bigger battery inside. Um, now, as you know, when it comes to battery life on any device, on any handheld portable device, you want to tinker the setting, tinker with the settings to get the best performance. And SteamOS makes that super easy. You can you can set the refresh rate on Steam Deck to 40 hertz to 30 hertz. You can do that all within the SteamOS UI. You could also adjust the TDP, I believe, using some third-party tools to maybe crank it down a little bit. Um, and obviously you can run games at a lower resolution, use stuff like DLSS to improve battery life, running games at a lower res, scaled up, stuff like that can make a massive difference to your battery life on the Steam Deck. Um, so really the controls are in your hands already, but obviously if you do want to expand it beyond that, it's going to take changes from developers, um, the developers of games. Developers of games hopefully will realize that Portable gaming is here to stay and that their games are going to be played on handheld portable devices and that battery life is something that they may want to may want to dedicate some time on to working on, you know? Um let's say if you're the new if you're a developer of a game, you might be thinking, okay, this game might be running on the Steam Deck. People might be playing my game on the Steam Deck. What can I do to make sure this game runs as efficiently as possible without really taxing the battery? Um, that's something hopefully more developers are going to be aware of going forward um, and also the heat on the Steam Deck um, let's get into that so they asked yeah why um, when I'm playing the Steam Deck also I notice it runs a little bit hot a lot of the time are you satisfied with the cooling solutions and the fans for the Steam Deck Lawrence Yang says I think we're pretty happy with it we've designed it so that um, so that all of the heat is only on the back and coming out the top so you should never feel any heat when your where your hands are and it should only be happening there if it is happening here please let us know because that is not part of the design all of the thermal should be coming out of there um so we did adjust the fan curve to address some noise issues that we were that were reported and we're still looking at that all of the time just to make sure that we're doing what we can to make sure it's a good experience from both a thermal standpoint um but also from an audio standpoint so they are trying to they're trying to just walk in that title right find a balance between um keeping it cool but without having the fans go <laughs> you know like ramp up because that was one of the big issues at the, at the start when the steam deck started getting into people's hands people were like damn this thing is noisy i can't i can't even hear the game <laughs> over the noise of the audio the, over the noise of the fan system um on top of the steam deck um which obviously as you know can be an issue on handheld devices you know you're running 
PC games on something you could fit into your well, in you could hold in one hand without any power connected to it. So it is going to run a little bit hot and it is going to tax the system. Um, but that is obviously, like I said, something you can also mitigate in the settings of games um, using Steam Deck, Steam OS's own internal settings like resolution, frame rate, etc., um, and TDP. Um, and yeah, there you go. Valve responded. Um, and it's it's really a tinkerer's paradise this thing like you can adjust this thing optimize it yourself you know without having to rely on valve or developers um it's all all about finding the right balance between you know making sure the game runs and it runs well but also making sure that it's not pushing the system too hard and that's all in your hands to be honest with you um the, the developers can do stuff from their side of course but you know ultimately it's going to be you that tweaks stuff but yeah let me know what you think in the comments um is your steam deck too hot to handle <laughs> is your steam deck super loud um and what's your battery life is it like half an hour or is it are you getting several hours let me know in the comments below i'm blaze 2k please like subscribe click the bell icon for more steam deck content because we will be talking a lot more about the steam deck i'm trying to i'm trying to split up these videos into little bite-sized chunks for you guys and talk about each subject as it comes up in the interview if you want to see the full interview go check the video description down below and um i'll see you in the next video bye